Pinot Black, folks, I'm basically trying to explain real fast here why we're safe. The reason, because you can see the comet as it goes by, and this one, this guy's got the pretty good footage on it. Now, what it, what this is, is basically, I'll go up out of the way, and I think it starts off here at, like, there you see your date and time. I'm not even going to say it, okay? But that's 10 minutes and 22 seconds, okay? On the first, okay? So, he's got a good footage of catching it going. Now, what you'll see is the comet goes in front and behind magneticals, okay? Now, this is Earth, and this is Jupiter, and I've showed it to you in the, the previous video, and we found it on the footage, and I'll be able to keep up with the damn comet for a little while until it disappears, okay? Now, basically, I'll hit play, and the reason what we're looking for is we're looking for, you should, that's Jupiter's magnetical line. Now, watch. Now, I'll have to freeze it, but basically, I think you'll see it go behind this magnetical here. And we're going to show you that information in a second. Okay, it stopped there. So basically on this footage, we don't really see how far it goes. Uh, we're going to end up figuring out what which one planet that is, but I'm not, I might not even be able to get that in this video, okay? So I'm going to hit play again. Remember, his markings on this are wrong, okay? Because that one there that it went, and I think I can freeze it on this, and I think you see it go pretty damn sure you see it go in front and as you can see what's very interesting see there's two magnetic lines way the hell back there okay there's actually two magnetic lines there and there's two here too so this is what's getting interesting we've got one two three and four okay now i'll get into what that possibly could be here in the next video too but a little bit in this one okay now our comet's streaking along there and we'll play and pretty much as you can see there it it's in front of jupiter or behind you see it's behind jupiter magnetical okay so we're hella fine if you go to jpl and everything like that and i'll show you that too here and i'll have a jp player now let's see what it does on this other magnetical line is it go in front of that magnetical line you're going to keep your eyes on it and glue it and freeze it it looks like it goes in front of it okay but no matter what we've seen what it did with jupiter so and that's what we get for play now let's see if he's going to repeat it and see what kind of stoppage we can get. Now right here, that's in front of that magnetical. Behind Jupiter's, okay? Most important is behind Jupiter's and in front of that next one. And then we don't even really know. And we, he's got it glued in here. So now it's, it's in front, behind. So I can freeze it real good. We know it's in front of that one. It does the twirl action. Behind Jupiter and in front of this one here, okay? So we're finding some stuff out there, okay? But basically, we're gonna have a de somewhat decent explanation. We ended up finding something like what? We figure four magneticals or something like that. So great footage of it, but it's way the hell out, okay? That bugger's way the heck out. But see all the activity that's around that thing? So stay tuned with me. So we already got this frozen pretty good. Because basically this footage is a little off, and it goes into that and everything like that. But I get back to the beginning of this, and it's not DA14, okay? That'll be around in February. I've already showed you that on the videos, okay? Now on this footage, you can see it doing the twirl there and so forth and so on. So we'll get it up to like 400 on this, and see if I can see it. And there it is. And now I gotta get over here and see if we can get the player because we're gonna have to go down and get the player. Let me cue that up. But you've seen it pretty good in the other one too, so I'm just trying to make sure everybody understands that basically it's so far behind all this stuff. If it's behind, it was ahead of this one, big deal, but it's behind Jupiter's. And let me go show you where Jupiter's at so that you realize that this is not gonna hit us. And let me see if I can get this play at this side. Because no matter what here, it's behind Jupiter, okay? You're going to see it's behind Jupiter, okay? It should come back around and play. See, it's behind Jupiter, okay? So no matter what, it's not going to hit Earth, okay? Because it's behind Jupiter. It's in front of that one. And we'll figure out what that magnetical is. And as you can see there, we can see that other magnetical good right there. So we got three magneticals for damn sure. And as you see there, it goes behind Jupiter's magnetical, and it's kind of iffy there what it did on that. I just can't get down to the bar real fast to check that. Now, here we go. 
So let's watch as it goes behind Jupiter's magnetical. It was in front of the other one. And as you see, the other magnetical just kind of pops in there. So we kind of may have found a planet. Either that or we got Jupiter. And now see, it's behind Jupiter. And it's in front of that magnetical, that other one. Okay? So no matter what, we're safe on Earth because but Earth is over here. And, and I might start wanting to get a little bit of donations so that the kids at I get a little bit of help from the kids at the library and stuff like that. Have them search stuff because I'll tell you what, this was a B-I-T-C-H to try to get glued up really quick. So that's why I wanted to show these pictures that I was working on trying to cue this up. So a looker bugger was hard to find. As you've seen in the video before this one though, so you see the one just before this, okay? Earth is safe, okay? Uh, now it's the ninth already and I just, it's a pain in the butt trying to make sure to find all this, but it's absolutely. So now you see you got Jupiter back there, okay? And also, as I get it to a certain platitude here, uh, I don't even know what, basically, I didn't even care what planet is I got here, but no matter what, this is where we sit on the ninth, okay? So Saturn is like this. So when we're looking across from, and what I've been trying to say is that we basically have got something up by Mars and stuff out by the sun, too, because as you can see, see, Mars is the only thing on that side of the sun. So we've got stuff over there. Okay, but we also are starting to find that we got magneticals up behind Earth and because this is Mercury there. Mercury's right there. That's Jupiter. Okay, and when I play along with this thing here, left and right at different latitudes, you'll end up seeing when we got Neptune and Pluto and stuff like that up behind. Okay, so no matter what, Saturn's over there to the left. Okay, and basically sitting pretty much. That's kind of an angle somehow is how that satellite is up on B behind, okay, and it's shooting back over here, okay, and the sun's over there to the left, and all that stuff's over there, but, and Venus and Mercury really shouldn't have been in the angle, but then it can, it kind of, they kind of could be, okay, see, Venus and stuff could kind of basically maybe, maybe be in the shot be one of the magneticals Venus and Mercury maybe but I really kind of doubt it because see it's showing Jupiter like this magnetical somehow like this so basically Venus and Mercury really shouldn't be in it okay so if we go up like this I think we go like this and we'll end up seeing if I keep dragging we'll end up playing around with it and we'll see Uranus and stuff like that and we'll get Pluto and stuff like that you see so it's certain angles of Earth and Jupiter being Earth is there by Chandra, and we will flip this up like this. See, you see where Earth's at? So possibly the closest magnetical might be Uranus way in the back. Okay? And then the other one, we do have Pluto somewhere in there. And you and Neptune also. So basically we'll drag it down so you can prove that. So we can prove that. So more than likely Uranus might be one of them. So as you can see Jupiter there and that there. Now we have to go like this, I think to get us to get Pluto and so forth and stuff like that over there in on this shot. And I haven't even been trying to get it. We got, Net there's Neptune. Okay, so as we move Neptune over, Neptune's way over there. You got Jupiter. So and as we bring Jupiter over by Earth, no, nope. the only thing possibly we could have Saturn maybe be a close one. Okay, Saturn and Uranus could maybe be a close one being able to get this shot. And remember when we start looking at the sun again too, the only thing that should be back here is Mars and maybe Neptune. Maybe we're getting some kind of an angle of Neptune in the future. Not Uranus though, because Uranus is basically what we've got up and there's Pluto. So as we were looking at Earth and in Jupiter, so then this is getting very exciting because the idea if we're sitting there looking at Earth and Jupiter and we see where Pluto was, as I bring Pluto back, you know that we don't have Pluto in that shot. So this is getting really interesting because that's Jupiter there, that little green dot right by the arrow there. And as I bring it up, then we see Uranus. So Uranus is the only thing that we kind of know, and we know it's not Pluto. And so maybe maybe we got Neptune up there. We'll know in a second because basically, so what do we have back there? So we found some stuff. 
because no matter what, you're seeing what we got, and we'll bring Jupiter back around so that the actual factual that there's Jupiter and Earth, and we know we got Jupiter and Earth in the magneticals, so they found some stuff by accident trying to look at a comet. Not really find it, we're just finding out because we get to see it, because as you they see, there's Uranus there. So if we're pulling Uranus, and then you can figure out where Neptune's at, I usually can find it here, and I'm trying to even remember right now, I'm so tired that the idea that did we have even, did I even get a hold of Neptune yet on this? Maybe on the front side I did. So no matter what, we go ahead with that information, and we go ahead and I'll bring you up to this stuff. Look, I hate that we have to look at everything flat and everything like that, but as you can see, if you don't get to see Jupiter in here, you see? That's why I had to pull up the JPL to be able to show you where Jupiter's at, okay? But we had Jupiter in Earth in the shot, and Mars is behind the Sun. So as you can see here, Uranus and Neptune, as it blows up out of this square right there, you see that square? Let me blow that up for you so you can see it. No matter what, and I was pissed that I couldn't get this to have Jupiter on there. And that's what I'm wondering about, who's playing games? So, anyway, that's our square that gets blown up out of here of Neptune, Uranus, and Pluto. And as you can see, uh, Neptune and stuff like that is up to the right of... So basically, the only thing that we basically can see that we should be able to get in those magneticals would be Uranus and Neptune. Okay? Because Saturn is where at again? Now remember, I can't blow this thing up any bigger, so the idea that they... That's what I'm going to get pissed about at, at them, that they basically make it like that. They've been working on software not letting you to describe and explain things to people. So no matter what, you got to have realized that it's Earth and Jupiter in this shot, okay, that we've been looking at, that we're, everybody's gotten everybody freaked out, okay? So no matter what, we're not worried about anything behind Earth. And as you can see, the angle, of, as long as we're going to have Jupiter and Earth in the shot, because Earth is right there, okay? It could be Uranus as being one of them, okay? And then Saturn's over here, so Saturn's not part of it, okay? So, Neptune is there. I got Neptune to come up, okay? So as we swing around, could we possibly have Neptune in it? Yep, Neptune could be there too. So basically, we're going to go with this. That basically, and yeah, called child there day, day, day or whatever. How do you say it? 313, I'm too tired. So we got 313, Neptune. And we know this is Jupiter there. And I think I can get that to swing. There's Jupiter. So the only thing we can have up there is Neptune and Uranus. Because there's Uranus, Okay. So there's two that we get for magnetic lines, but let's go count. And he was human, but we we're glad that he found the comet, or that it basically was the first thing. Or I'm not sure he was the first. He wasn't the first one. The other guy was, but he knows what his name is. Okay, so no matter what, we're not worried about... You can watch the comet, too, but basically there is somewhat of a magnetic line on this one here. And no matter what, we got one here and here. So Neptune, Uranus, but what the flip is this over here. Okay? That's the interesting thing. Maybe a slim chance of being Saturn, but no matter what, we get a good look of where Neptune and Uranus... Now, Uranus is huge, but it's way the hell back, and as you can see how big it is, you get a good look of how big it is, because this is not... I'm trying to... I forgot about... We need to try to look and see if we can see Jupiter on this line, because we know where Earth is there, but where is Jupiter on the magnetic line here as I'm playing? So, it's going to be interesting to keep watching and studying this stuff. So, no matter what, it looks like we got Uranus right there. And Neptune is where at on the doggone ma magnetical? We're going to see better when we're doing this. It looked like it looked like that uh, Neptune is here or something. Where 